welcome to my channel. Well, this is the battery capacity test um, part three because uh, Big House Beams AZ left a comment saying that uh, your true battery capacity is on discharge, which is true. It doesn't matter how much amps it takes to charge it up. It's what does it take to discharge it? Um, it it depends on the the machine and everything, but um, let's explain a little bit about batteries and capacities. And I'm going to try to simplify this a little bit because electronics is like another language. Uh, that's why I took electronics and everything because I didn't understand it. I wanted to understand how stuff works. You know, you look at a circuit and you push this button and this happens, but how does that happen? You know, I wanted to figure that out and it's complicated, but batteries, just think of this as like a gas tank. All right. So an 18650 battery has 3000 milliamps. Let's, let's call those 3000 gallons. It's not the same, but yeah. All right. So when, when you look at a battery like this with no label on it and everything, and you're looking at that size, you're probably assuming anywhere from 2,800 to 3,200 milliamp capacity in this thing. And what you're getting in reality on discharge is 799 milliamps. I mean, it took 883 to charge it. So you're getting 2.87 watt hours. So you're expecting, you're expecting this. And you're getting less than this. This is a 14500. That'll give you 900 milliamp hours. All right. So that's how they rip you off. You call it like shrinkflation or whatever. Another one is lying about these numbers. You know, you have to test it. I mean, I, I, I ran this test charging it and discharging it. So both of them took up quite a few hours. All right. So... It started off with 4.05 volts. I did it at 98% because I, you know, was looking at it. And every minute, you know, it would drop down in in uh, 0 0.01 volts or something. You know, it would just start dropping and dropping and dropping. And uh, it continued on. <laughs> Drop batteries. It continued on. Um... You know, as it's going along, 30 minutes and everything, and finally I realized, you know, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna reach the 50% mark. You know, I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna stop watching this thing because it's gonna take forever. And then I thought, you know what, when, when a battery reaches three volts, I don't know if it's 3.0 whatever, or three point, you know, um. 3.10, and then when it reaches 3.09, that might mean the same thing as, you know, less than 3 volts, or, or 3 volts. Uh, it depends on what it says, because... This one's operating voltage is 2.7 to 4.2 volts, all right? This one's operating voltage is 3 volts. So it doesn't matter what your capacity of your uh, of your battery is below 3 volts. If you put it in this flashlight, it's it's going to turn off after 3 volts. If you put it in the the headlamp one, it's going to um, I don't know, I got lost with all these things running around. <laughs> It'll last a little bit longer, but I mean, the discharge rate really went down. So really, when it reached 3.00 volts, it was at 6%. It took one hour and 35 minutes, and it was at 768 milliamps. And the thing finally shut off at 2.62 volts, 0% capacity, one hour and 39 minutes at 799 milliamps. 
Now it was discharging at half an amp rate. Now what is a discharge? That's like your foot on the gas pedal. You know, if you go slow and you're poking along, your gas will last a lot longer. But if you punch it, we didn't punch it on this, on the discharge. We just let it go slow. So, um, yeah, that's the thing. You're, you're expecting, you're expecting this, this type of power and this kind of capacity, and you're getting less than this, you know, in this battery. And the, and they know it, you know, the, uh, now work hosts and Sofren, uh, they're good. The numbers they put on here are legit. I've, I've tested these batteries. Uh, Molly Cell also. Um, Samsung, if it's a real Samsung, but, you know, a lot of those are just shrink-wrapped, you know, and anybody can just shrink-wrap something on there. So you have to get them from reputable dealers and everything. Uh, but, yeah, that's just the thing. It's It's all in what you put it in. And how long will it last? So if you go out with these untested, you know, you just got some batteries that were wrapped, you know, got these on sale. They're only like $3 or $2 or whatever. Uh, they're actually selling you one of these. And you're expecting this type of capacity and runtime, and you're not going to get it. <laughs> you're not going to get it with this uh, this thing right here. Now, again, this was hidden inside a power bank, so they didn't even bother with stamping, you know, on the outside any kind of numbers or anything like that. And they didn't technically lie when they, when they, on their power bank because they, on their capacity, they never really listed the capacity. They just said what their operating voltage is and what the input voltage is, but they didn't say what their capacity was on that thing. So, uh, like I said, this is an older one. I can still use this. The circuit is still good. Um, but yeah, when whenever you're getting power banks off of uh, Amazon or whatever, I'd suggest looking at a, a, a good video review of somebody who's actually tested those things or taken them apart and, and found out that they're legit. You know, because otherwise, yeah, they just come up with any kind of a name on them. And, and they got ridiculous capacities on there, and, and Amazon for sure does not regulate that, it doesn't seem. You know, I mean, somebody will put in there a ridiculous capacity on there, and it's it's not that. And you won't find out, you know, it's just like, you don't know, you, you'd think. I suspected something when this thing just wouldn't charge worth of crap you know it wouldn't even do one charge on my phone which my phone is a battery hog but still so there you go i hope that helps explain it a little bit to you uh sometimes they'll break it down between you know that they won't list the milliamp hours they'll just list the watt hours or whatever and uh you know that's a that's a electronic calculation you can look up and, and, and figure out you can convert those things back and forth um, but yeah, there, there you go. I'm, I just get curious about these things, you know, like what are they doing? Why are they putting this in here? And, uh, because a small battery bank is very useful to have, uh, especially you get it like a small solar panel. Everything's compact and go with this and go with you. You know, all these big stations you've got and everything, they're fine in a fixed location, but for, convenience and everything a power bank is is very useful to have and this one is probably a lithium ion polymer or something you know it's 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 not it's probably not two of these or two 21 700s uh, i thought i brought one over here where is he uh, i left him somewhere there we go it's probably not two of these, you know, because just looking at the diameter, it's unlikely that that would fit in there. So, um, but yeah, you got two of these together. You got 10,000 milliamps and you got 18 watt hours, you know, on, on that. But like I said, sometimes they list the watt hours and the milliamp hours and other times they don't. But, you know, you can kind of convert from that, calculate, and figure out how much. And see, this one's at 3.6 volts. This one 
it's not a huge difference, but a lot of times they can get more milliamps out of that by just dropping a 0.1 on there. So there you go. I've rambled on long enough. Um, I hope that helps explain a little bit uh, what you're looking for in batteries. Because if, if you if you were to grab these and go out thinking you're going to get this type of performance out of it, you're actually going to get a, you got a smaller gas tank, and you and you can't be hot rodding it. You know, you just got to poke along and granny along. Now, these are not totally useless. As long as you know the limitations on them and everything and what they are, uh, these would be good in uh, some, you know, a little light or something like that. And uh, just remember, if it's got any kind of voltage protection on it, you're not going to even get this amount um, of capacity. It's going to shut off when it reaches... 3 volts. So somewhere between 751 and 600, you know, is going to be your capacity on that. And it's no big deal, you know, right now, but if you're out planning some trip out in the Sahara Desert or something like that and you cheaped out on batteries, <laughs> yeah. Might Try to learn how to make batteries out of cactus, if that's possible. Anyways, there you go. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.